What is up guys? Today is the moment that a lot of boxing fans have been waiting for. The biggest fight of the year. Triple G versus Canelo Alvarez. Um, I'm actually headed to the movie theaters right now to uh, watch it because I ain't paying $100 for that shit. So let's talk about the first one a little bit. The first one was a classic. It was a great fight. I think it lived up to the hype. The only thing there's a lot of controversy behind Canelo Alvarez and the decision. I personally thought Golovkin won the fight. Some people feel different. Probably about 80% of the boxing world thinks that Triple G won the fight. Um, I thought it was a close fight, 7-5, but I think it went to Triple G. Um, and the clambuterol thing, that doesn't help Canelo at all. You know what I mean? Like, now his legacy is going to be tainted because everybody in the future, somebody's going to point out, well, the clambuterol. You know what I mean? So, anyways, let's see what happens tonight, man. I'll be back uh, with my thoughts. I'll be showing a little bit of the highlights of the fight, so enjoy. Waiting for, waiting for my uh, chili dog. I'm excited. I'm here. I'm ready to go. Let's hope it's not too too packed. Um, I want to get a good seat, but whatever. Let's see what happens. Ooh, got my meal. Walking there. I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Ooh, theater 15. Going there, having my meal. Just got my meal now. So let's see what happens. I'm excited, guys. I'm very excited. I think Canelo wins on decision, but I could be wrong. He's throwing, throwing so many punches, he got caught with a good body shot, followed with a hook, then the overhand right, right off the middle of the boom, beat Fuentes Ooh. to the punch. Fuentes never saw the punch coming. Well, you were right, Roy Jones, when you Chocolate said the right hand was punch tonight. Of course, his hook. This all right, so David Lemieux versus uh, Gary O'Sullivan is next. It's going to be a good fight. I think David Lemieux is going to get this win. Um, and I think he's going to be, like, next to fight the winner of Triple G versus Canelo. At least that's what they're hyping it up to be. So I think Lemieux beats him by knockout. Trying to throw it right here by a cruiserweight. When you get hit by a cruiserweight and you're just a super middleweight, this is probably what's gonna happen to you. I tell guys all the time, this is a happy advantage that they give you in boxing. You don't have to look at that beautiful level right on the chin. You're allowed to come in and God damn. guy that much if you can do it the proper way. In the first round. He does it the proper way and he uses it to his advantage today. So once again, Lemieux is Alright, so update. All the fights have ended pretty much early. All three fights uh, were all ended by knockout. So, because of that, I gotta wait an hour and a half. Oh, I'm so pissed about that. Gotta wait an hour and a half before the main event. Now people are just talking, everybody giving their insights, who they think is gonna win, blah, blah, blah. Talking about the first fight for the 8,000th time. So, damn. Taking the first fight, hitting Canelo to the it's road, almost that time, guys. And does that mean that Triple G is more likely to score as Let's get it. Boy Promotions and Triple G Promotions, presented by Nick Cotton, the official beer of boxing. Sponsored by Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. Como quieres viajar? Fly your way to Mexico with Interjet Airlines. Venom, the movie starring Tom Hardy. And ringside, Glenn Philbin. They're in the ring. It's time. And it's time. I got Canelo. Canelo by decision. Is Ooh, what a hell of a fight. Jones, a Canelo got the decision. Disappointed fighter That's exactly how I had it. 7-5 Canelo. Damn. What a fight that was. That was a really, really good fight. Um, I did not expect Canelo to actually stand in front of Golovkin the whole fight. So now they can't say nothing. Um, I'm sure there's people that's, that, that are going to feel like Golovkin won. I personally had it 7-5 for Canelo this time. Last time I had the same score, but for Golovkin. Um, I'm sure some of you guys feel the same way. And some of you guys feel differently. Some of you guys feel like Golovkin won. At the end of the day, it was a hell of a fight. It was a great fight. Um, I loved it. I really, really did not expect Canelo to fight like that. I really didn't. Like, I know he was saying, oh, I'm trying to go for the knockout. But we hear fighters say that all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
he actually was. He actually was standing in front of him the whole time, hitting him with shots. Uh, Golovkin looked uncomfortable at first. He looked like he wasn't, you know, he didn't really know how to fight going backwards. You know, he didn't know how to fight with somebody right in front of his chest because um, he's usually the one doing that. So Canelo, Canelo can make adjustments. It doesn't seem like Triple G can. Uh, he caught second wind at like the seventh, eighth round, something like that. He caught a second win. He looked like he was gassing in the beginning. Overall, a great fight. I had it 7-5 Canelo personally. Let me know how you guys had it. All right, till next time, guys.